Hi, I'm Glennis Moore. I live in the Pacific Northwest and I'm a wildlife artist and teacher. I have searched high and low for the perfect brushes to use with my technique and I find that the Black Gold Dynasty worked the best. Hi, I'm Glennis Moore and I'm going to show you how to use the wave brushes. This is a smaller one that I use for most of my paintings and you see they have the serrated edge and that's all you're going to load with paint when you're using these. Uh, this one here is a number um, 12 and this one here is the 1 inch. This also comes in a 2 inch. I don't use these a lot unless I'm doing a very large painting um, like with a horse's mane or long fur on an animal or just a large painting you need to use a brush that's appropriate in size for the area that you're painting. Uh, if you use a brush that's too small in a large area it's going to look bad and if you use one like this on a small painting it's going to look really bad. So always choose a brush that's appropriate for the size. Now you dip it in the water and I pulled the paint out and so you're just you're going to load just the tip. You do not want to get these too wet. And don't overload them. I think I got a bit too much paint. So I just very lightly wipe it back. Always steady your hand. I use my little finger or my other hand. Put the brush straight down like this. Flip, flip, flip. And you, you don't want to get a real even edge on your fur because then it looks like it's been cut with scissors. So, you know, you want that unevenness like that. Then, um, I'll just wipe this off a little bit and I'm going to bring in another color here to, just to show you how you can layer colors with the big one. Then again, put it a ways back, flip, flip, flip. See, it gives a nice soft value change on the fur. And most animals, um, you know, they have various values in their coats. See, then we'll come back with the black again. Um, you see, like that all there is to it. Very easy. Just don't push too hard and always remember flip up. Don't don't drag. If you want to drag it, which you can do with this, you can make some awesome wood strokes. You know, grains and wood. Uh, it works really good for that. See? So there's many uses for these brushes. And this is my painting of uh, the Great Silverback Sinquiqui. And I wanted to show you where I used the um, Tidal Wave brush, which was right here on the shoulder. This is a, a larger painting for me. Um, and then up at the top, a little around the edges. And I, you know, you basically put it in with a darker uh, color and then just very lightly flip these little strokes in and you give the illusion you've painted a whole lot of hair when it's only taken a couple of seconds.